Now, one more uh, proof here. We're going to prove the uh, constant multiple rule the that the, the derivative of k times g of x is uh, k times g prime of x. So here's the definition of the derivative. Now, f of x is k times g of x. So if I want to find f of x plus h, I'm putting x plus h in here, and it would be k times g of, and this would be x plus h. So when I replace the x plus h in place of the x here, it's k g of x plus h. f of x, of course, is the original function k times g of x. Now notice that k here is a common factor. We can factor it out of the numerator, and there it's factored out. And in fact, h is what's tending towards 0. h is completely ind independent of what k is. It has no bearing on what k is. So not only can k be factored out of this, it can actually be factored completely out of the limit. Now, so we have f prime of x is k times this limit. Now, notice what this limit is. This limit actually is just the derivative of g. In fact, if you look at the top, where it's yellow here, if I were to change this f to a g, in fact, every f to a g, okay, we it originally said what f prime equals, g prime would be the limit as h tends towards 0 of g of x plus h minus g of x over h, which is exactly the same thing we have right here. So that is, is, by definition, g prime of x. And so the derivative of f is k times g prime of x. So that's the k, and this whole limit here is g prime of x. Uh, example number three, the uh, distance in meters of a dragster from the starting line after t seconds is given by this function. Uh, S represents the distance after t seconds is 2 times the time cubed. Uh, this is just a restriction. This Apparently this function only works for up to 4 seconds, 0 to 4 seconds. And we're asked to find the velocity of 2 and a half seconds. So if this is displacement or distance, the rate that distance changes is velocity. So we would differentiate S to get the velocity function. So the velocity is the derivative of S with respect to time. That's what ds dt means. Okay? The rate at which s is changing with respect to changes in time. So we differentiate 2t cubed. The 3 comes down in front multiplying by the 2 to give you 6. Decrease the exponent by 1 to 2. So 6t squared is a velocity function. We're looking for the velocity at 2.5 seconds. So we put 2.5 in place of time and evaluate that. So 2.5 squared is uh, 6.25 multiplied by 6 is 37.5 meters per second. That's how fast the dragster is going at 2.5 seconds, 37.5 meters per second. Now, the sum rule for differentiation, here's another basic rule for differentiation. If you have two or more terms, the derivative of f of x plus g of x, let's say there are a couple of terms or even just poly polynomials, is the derivative of f plus the derivative of g. So it's actually just the derivative of each individual part added together. So in example 4, if we're given that f of x is 3x to the fifth minus 6x cubed, so there's the two different functions. Then to find f prime, we just differentiate each individual part. So the derivative of 3x to the fifth, the 5 comes down in front. 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract 1 from 5 to give you an exponent of 4. 3 comes down and multiplies by the uh, 6 to give you 18. Subtract 1 from 3 to get 2. So that's the derivative of f of x. An example 5, we're given that uh, f of x is 1 over x cubed. Now there is a way to differentiate quotients, but that's not in this lesson. What you should do, since there's a constant in the numerator, is rewrite this as... Now the 3 has the exponent to the third, x to the power of 3 in the denominator. If you bring that up to the numerator, it changes the sign of the exponent. Remember, if you move anything from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top, the exponent changes sign. So 1 over x cubed is the same as x to the negative 3. And then you can use the power rule. So the negative 3 comes down in front. And we decrease the exponent by 1. So we take negative 3 and subtract 1, which of course would be negative 4. And it's good mathematical form not to leave negatives in your exponents. So the way I would rewrite this, I would take that, and it would be x to the power of 4 back into the denominator. And I would write it as negative 3, then, over x to the 4th. So negative 3 over x to the 4th is the derivative of 1 over x cubed. 
Uh, example 6, we're asked to find the derivative of the cube root of x. So once again, I want to write it as a power of x, like I did here in number 5. So the cube root means the power of 1 third. So that's the same as x to the power of a third. And I would differentiate this using the power rule, because it's a power of x. So the third comes down in front, and I decrease the exponent by 1. Now when you decrease the exponent by 1, you really need to get a common denominator. So I'm actually, what I'm actually doing is taking this 1 third, and I'm subtracting 1. Now 1 is the same as 1 over 1, so I would multiply that by 3, top and bottom, to get a common denominator. So the 1 becomes 3 over 3. So 1 third minus 3 thirds would be negative 2 thirds. And so that's my exponent. Now, a uh, good mathematical form not to leave negatives and also not to leave uh, rational exponents. So I would rewrite this in this form. One third. There's the one third. The negative means that this, rat, this is going to be a radical is in the denominator. When you have x to the two thirds, the three in the denominator means the cube root. The two in the numerator means the power of two. So that's why it's one over three times the cube root of x squared. Now in example 7, uh, we're asked to uh, differentiate 2x to the 4th, and there is a way to differentiate this. It's called the chain rule, and uh, we'll get into that in another lesson, but uh, what I would do for now is just evaluate this before I differentiate. Uh, expand out 2x to the 4th. So you evaluate 2 to the 4th, which is 16, and x to the 4th, which is x to the 4th. So we expand it out and then differentiate. So we're just using the power rule. The 4 comes down in front, multiplies by the, the 16 to give you 64, and then decrease the exponent by 1 to 3. So the derivative is 64x cubed. 